Hi folks, everything new under the sun. This is a 120-240 split phase configuration of the EG4 3 kilowatt systems. I have uh, two in this case. I'm not doing any paralleling. Um, I'm just uh, feeding each leg of uh, my panel uh, with one of these inverters, 3000 watts on each leg. And uh, this video will uh, describe to you uh, how to uh, plug in the communication cables. So stay tuned. I have the two inverters set up uh, in split phase mode uh, for the communication cables, the top Ethernet port on this one needs to go to the bottom on this one in the case of uh, two units. And you can watch the daisy chain, or you can look at the daisy chain in the, the manual for if you have more than two units. And the bottom one uh, goes to the top over here. So these are uh, both operating. Um, you probably can't see it, but the little flashing P right beside the light bulb means that this is the master unit. You can switch which is the master and which is the slave. On the slave, the P is not going to be flashing. Once these are communicating, all the uh, menu items will effectively be the same on each of them uh, for discharge, uh, you know, max charge, percentage, all that kind of stuff. Um, the only thing that's going to be different, of course, uh, mainly, is the configuration of the, the 2P2 split phase, and that's where you see the uh, uh, the P2, well, it's not flashing there, um, so the, the uh, primary, the master will uh, flash P1 and the secondary, the slave, will uh, uh, flash P2. Now I've got a flashing uh, 19 uh, warning <clears throat> and that's related to battery communication. Now I had the battery communication working for a second there but then it uh, stopped again so I'm still working on that. Um, but I will say I do have a successful 240 volts, um, 120 on each leg, uh, 